closer look at those lemur legs in action, I'm thinking there might be a great power suit here. Okay! Bro, what are you doing? Hold this. You'll see. Now that's what I call vertical clinging and leaping. Vertical clinging and leaping? What's that? That. Whoa! Whoa! The special way Safaka lemurs leap through the trees. See Bob over there? A Safaka clings to a vertical trunk of a tree. He pushes off with his powerful hind feet, then twists in the air, reaching forward with his feet. And lands on another vertical trunk. This is a really special creature ability. I've got to program some lemur powers. <laughs> Listo! I think I've got the breakdown on the Safaka lemur's leaping power. All right! It's all in the lemur legs. Ha! Those long, muscular legs give them a powerful push-off and absorb the landing. <laughs> hey, lounger! <laughs> You'll hang out just about anywhere. And Lounger's showing us something else. I noticed that Sifakas have stretchy skin under their arms that give them a little glide to prolong their flight. Oh, yeah. Look at the underarm webbing on Lounger. Now, just to finish the programming on these Sifaka lemur powers. Hold it, Aviva. You don't want to miss this. Lemur dancers. Because their legs are so specialized for tree leaping, they can't even walk or run. This is the only way they can move on the ground. And they don't like to be down for long, because on the ground, those amazing legs become the Safaka's weakness. Huh? Huh? A wheel of cheese? With a pygmy hedgehog, Tenrek? He's heading right for the spiny plants and is gonna crash. <laughs> Easy as cheesy. I got this one, bro. Reverse cheese roll! <laughs> Ouch. Hey, buddy. Rolling around in a cheese wheel is no place for you. Pygmy hedgehog tenrecs belong living free and in the wild. Emmental, a European cheese. Interesting. Hey, it's Mrs. President and Fuzz Top. How could she land on all these spines? She must have super tough hands and feet. Wait, they're soft. And not just soft, super duper unbelievably soft. Then how do you land on all those spines? I get it. She positions her hands and feet so they land on the few spaces in between the spines. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Hey, where's Lounger? <gasps> what? The troop disappeared? Oh, no. Oh, don't worry. We'll find him. Come on. Tails! They help the troops stay together. Whew! Ringtails hold that tail high like a flag so the rest of the troop can follow. <laughs> We're coming, Mom! Psst. Huh? It's me. What are you finding out so far? I mean, besides you being the lowest lemur in the group, that is. <laughs> Very funny. Don't worry, I'll find a way to move up in rank. But I'm still looking for clues to the mystery of why they were fighting with Troop Klingon. Hey! Mm, what are you up to? Oh yeah, just what I thought. What? He scent marked this tree. Lemurs make a smelly oil on their wrists that they rub onto trees and logs in the forest. Leaving the smell is like leaving a little message. Well, what does the message say? Read it. Uh, with your nose, I guess. 
Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It says, this is our place. Stay out! Who's he talking to? Other lemurs and other troops. Troop Tamarin is marking their territory, and this is the boundary of their home turf. Hang on. Koki, come in. Koki here. Are you getting this? Oh, yeah. I've got your coordinates, and I'm marking the troops' home range right now. Great. Okay. Dear any other lemur that smells this smell, this is our turf. Please stay out. Signed, the newest member of Troop Tamarind. There. I like writing letters with lemur stink. <laughs> oh, uh, Jimmy, uh, thanks for doing some dusting. Cleaning up? I'm not cleaning up. I'm scent marking my stuff. Really? Yeah. This is Jimmy's turf. Please stay out. Huh? Martin, come in, little lemur. Hey, Koki. We're busy scent marking, too. <laughs> Everybody in the troop helps. Well, why are they so territorial anyway? What are they trying to protect? Uh, you're looking at it. You? Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> Not me. This. A tamarind fruit? Well, yeah, all the food, really. The troop wants to make sure to protect an area big enough to keep everyone fed, plus sleeping areas and living space, too. Oh, I get it. Every troop has a territory with enough food in it to keep them fed. But they don't want other troops coming in and eating their fruits, sleeping in their trees, and everything else. Exactly. And by scent marking, the lemurs can keep everything peaceful and avoid fights. Yeah, well, I can tell you one thing. I'm not stepping foot near Jimmy's fridge, so his smelly language is working for me. <sighs> Righty-o.